Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends Thor vs. the Destroyer. Now, this looks awesome. It has amazing, you know, heft. It feels heavy. I can already tell just based off that. That's what made me purchase it. I was super on the fence till I found this guy in store. Or these guys in store. But man, I just picked it up and I knew I had to buy it. So, quickly looking at it. You get a nice little picture of Thor and the Destroyer facing off on the front. The nice little stacked photo they like to do on the side. Picture of the two with their extra accessories. Pictures of the figures on the side. Avengers Anniversary on the top. Not much else on the bottom. So without further ado, let's get these guys open because I cannot wait to get that Destroyer in hand. And here we have the Thor and Destroyer out of the packaging and... Yeah, I was right. I love this Destroyer figure. I mean, it. I could not have asked for a better one. And just to quickly show you what I mean after I clear out some space so I can move my arms about. You get these nice set of hands, and I have one for each. This one is open. We'll take a closer look at it when I actually do the figure. But you get these nice, you know, fisted metallic hands, and Legends normally has a problem with marbling, and... It's here and there, but it's really not that evident, and even then, it it works for me where it's at, because it just, it makes it feel mystical, if that makes sense. It feels like there's some kind of energy running about. But, you know, nothing on the hands, of course, but these things, they are really one of my few complaints with the Destroyer, and that is just, when trying to pop them on, these things can stab the crap out of your hands, you know, and that's okay. I would prefer them be this cool than just have them safe or soft plastic that's not going to last and for thor we get a fisted hand for his left hand and an unmet yeah unmasked he has a helmet and then a separate mask i guess i don't know i will say i'm assuming right here is the mask he has on on the other head like it comes back and forms up the wings but if it's not, I would have loved to see this design on the other head. Because that's so cool, getting the nice metallic lining going on it. It looks like something's really holding it up. Even then, without it, I like this head. I just prefer the masked one. You can see the nice beard details, all that cool stuff. If I'm not mistaken, I think they're, outside of these, just the same. Outside of the wings and, of course, the mask, I think they're just the same one. No, they're not. I'm looking at him. The hair is different. But anyways, let's actually look at these figures because, oh man, these are so fun. All right, so uh, Thor first, I guess, because he, he is my less favored one. Not meaning I don't like him. I just like him less. So taking a quick look at Mjolnir, here we have... I got to remember so I don't ever mess these up. Let's see... This is, of course, just the same kind of hammer we've seen. I think this was this was the 80th anniversary one right here. So let me just quickly throw them into my hands with a little timeline order here. Yeah, so you can see all the little variations from here to there. Ragnarok's is much darker in terms of color. With the brightest handle of the three. It is also the only one to have this spot painted, which doesn't make sense to me. I feel like this one, yeah, this one should have, since it does come with the new one. And truthfully, I would have preferred it be on this mold, because you can spin the hammer on it. So, you know, that way if you want him holding it, like, any way you want, you can just spin it to be where you, where you would like it most. Whereas, I believe it is just... Yeah, I think it's just twisted on this old mold. You know, it's it's pretty easy to check and see. Yeah, it is. It's just on this exact mold, only it's turned a little differently. Maybe uh, it might be a little shorter, but not by much. But yeah, of course, you just put it in his hand like so. Holds it nicely. It won't fall out if you're, if you're you know, careful and not trying to knock it out of his hand he can of course hold it like this if you would like to have him you know flying or something get him get his arm nice up there and just have him holding it like so you know, maybe move his chest a little bit 
And really, this this figure is a perfect example of my problem with Thor figures in general. And that is the head and ca the long hair and cape combo just don't work with Hasbro, especially here where it's a... I feel like it's a harder plastic than we see most of the time. Maybe it's just because of how it's folded. I don't really know. But I prefer, you know, cloth capes. I think everyone does. Everyone that's, you know, has figures with them at least. I prefer the cape to be more malleable. You know, I can really move it around. And even if it is just pure cloth, like uh, Black Series is done with Darth Vader, I prefer that any day over the hard plastic. Because at least that, it will kind of move how it should. And if you're saying, oh, you couldn't get this effect with plastic, yeah, you could. You could just, you know move it up to here, cut it off, and it would naturally drape over. Uh, on the, I'm trying to think, because I'm pretty sure this is just the same body we've seen a lot of times, so... Here he is, you know, size comparison-wise, here he is next to the 80th Anniversary Thor. I still like this figure the best. I still think this is the best Thor we've gotten. Even if his head is maybe a little small looking at it compared to this one. Maybe just a slight bit, but no. I, I would still prefer this one. But if you're looking for a Thor, this guy is good. Um, Articulation-wise, he's the same as Ragnarok and the last Thor. The only real difference on him is the boots. As you can see here, these are wrapped, whereas these are metal. So I think there's a slight possibility that's new sculpt here. Let me let me grab Ragnarok real quick, and we can actually take a look at that. Okay, so I'm looking to sell Ragnarok sometime soon, so I boxed him back up. His hammer will end up going in there eventually. I just had it sitting out and used it for comparison here. The main reason I'm selling him is just I'm not the biggest fan. If I ever want him back, I can get him eventually. But quickly looking at his boots here, we can see that they are the same cloth that the 80th one was. So, yeah. I just kind of decided Ragnarok wasn't that important to me. So, I can let him go. But Thor here is pretty nice. And only real complaint with him is just the fact he cannot move his head at all. The hair, like, hard plastic hair does not work well with plastic cape. Because it just makes no movement possible. You kind of have to pop it off. You know, pose it around like so. Like, I tried to get one picture where he was looking down on the destroyer. And it just had to come at such an odd angle that it wasn't possible for me to do. So, um... Why did I pop it back on? I was going to show off the other head. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I am pretty sure this is um, Eric Selving taking the mantle of Thor for, like, the uh, um, Infin <clears throat> Infinity Gauntlet comic. Sorry, I, felt, I feel like I got something in my throat. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is Infinity Gauntlet Thor. So if you're looking for more of a 90s display, you can combine this Thor with a... Oh, let's see. Let's move him back a little ways here. Drop the arm. Just compare him. Because here we have a nice little Black Widow you could put him with. Because I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, this was her appearance in the Infinity Gauntlet storyline. So you can pair him with her. Oh, I knocked Rose over. Captain America... Or, where's another Avenger sitting nearby? Iron Man. Silver Centurion. Now, I know that wasn't a suit used in the Infinity Gauntlet comic. I'm, I'm kind of realizing, I don't remember what suit Iron Man had, but I think it was this one. Which is probably one of my favorite figures we've gotten. Now, would I prefer to have the Alex Ross one? Of course, but... Just, I love the bright red and yellow here. It's so awesome. Especially because I actually do like the blue. It breaks up the suit more for me. So, yeah, you can see Thor, our um, Marvel Trinity, our equivalent to what DC has with the Justice League. But we've looked at Thor long enough. I have rambled on about him. It's an okay figure, but it is time 
to talk about the big boy of this two pack. That is right, <clears throat> the Destroyer. This figure is, oh, he's so amazing. Oh, I didn't compare Hulk, so I guess we can just, we'll just do him right now. Because that way you can see that the Destroyer, if I bring my camera up here once I get Thor, actually towers the Hulk. And I have to pick up, you know, phone, camera, whatever you want to call it. I do have to pick it up, so sorry if it's a bit shaky. But yes, the Destroyer is so much bigger than the Hulk. It's so cool. I love to see it. Because, you know, Hulk doesn't have many characters that can really tower over him, make him look smaller. But the Destroyer can do it, so that's cool. And, yeah, Hulk has more of a brick effect to him. He's a lot wider, all that kind of stuff, but still. The Destroyer, of course, only has single-jointed elbows, but with a figure of his scale and what could have just been an easy build a figure I'm going to let it slide. So I am kind of noticing now with my light on, he has a little bit of marbling on the stomach here. I think I noticed... Was there... No, there wasn't a spot on the foot that's... Well, actually, yeah, there is. A little space on the foot there. I think that's marbling anyway. Let's see. Arm has a little bit there, but overall, it's not that bad. You can see some on the butt there. But this is a case to me where I'm someone who never really minds marbling as long as it's not overwhelming. This guy's amazing. And marbling can add kind of a mystical effect to him, I feel. And I'm sorry if he's... It's hard for me to get this guy in frame. He's so tall. I have to really move my camera back. Like I have to stretch my full arm length to reach this guy without hitting my camera. My phone, whatever you want to call it. It's my camera and my phone. It's an amazing double feature. Um, yeah, he has this awesome little waistband. You can get him looking down on characters really well. So, you know, after he's got Thor pinned to the ground, he's standing over him, foot on his chest. That's such a cool pose, isn't it? I can't be the only one that thinks that that is awesome. Get his... Uh, yeah, that's the other thing, though. You can't really move his fist up because of these getting in the way. But you can turn it, so... I feel it balances out. But 60 bucks, I think this guy was, for the 2-pack. I mean, you know, you're getting more value here than you would with the McFarlane Superman versus doomsday two pack but overall i i don't know if i would pay this much for it normally so you know what i just want to pose him like that for a second because i think that's really cool and of course i'm not going to pop off his hand but if you wanted to because i've seen pictures now floating around where the destroyer was holding me all near or thor took over the destroyer or something you can kind of squeeze me all near in there like ah uh, so there i'm not gonna go any further i don't want to push the plastic to its limits really but you can get the destroyer holding me all near if you wanted and if you were more well you know what if you're as willing as i am because i'm committed at this point <sighs> yeah and this is one of those points where it can really kind of stab you there we go you can see him holding it now like um Ragnarok's hammer would probably work better. But that's my opinion. Ooh. Okay, I got it straightened back out. But when I, be careful if you're pulling this out of um, the destroyer's hands. I'll call them doomsday. But the hammer got bent like that. So just be quick to move it back into place and you'll be fine. But yeah, these figures, absolutely incredible. I'm sorry if I have to keep clearing my throat. I don't know what's really wrong with me. Maybe it's not coming through and I just feel really off, but no matter what's happening, these two figures are incredible. At their price point, a little pricey, but I feel like for the overall package of what you're getting, it's worth your time and money. Like, if you don't have a Thor, here is your chance. Ah, didn't want to knock him over. Here is your chance at a Thor figure, and a great one at that. 
Is he perfect? Far from it, you know. He doesn't have the same paint or wash that this guy has, but not every Thor can or is going to. So take your wins where you can get them. If you don't have a Thor and you're wanting to build an Avengers, get this two-pack because you will get an amazing destroyer with it. I cannot recommend a better one. I, I can with 80th anniversary, but for the overall of what you're getting, it's good. It's great. And I didn't compare him with Hawkeye. <clears throat> So let's pull the destroyer off here, get him stood up uh, nice and straight, you know. I guess I just knocked off his hand. Let's pop a new one in. So if you're popping them in, I would recommend like trying to hold them from this side. And just like so. Because going from down here, it just, it hurts. Like not a lot of pain, just enough that it's why would you, you know, put yourself through the discomfort. So just, just standing him up here. Getting him all nice and tall. Same with Thor. Let's really get him standing. And compare him to the only other figure from the 60th anniversary line that I have, Hawkeye. Who really looks like a shrimp when compared next to these two, doesn't he? Can I angle my camera any higher? Or are we looking? No, we're just going to look at his chest. Let's zoom out. Nope, too far. You're being able to see the mess behind it. I don't want that. But yeah, these figures are amazing. Buy them. I'm trying to start kind of grading these. Five being just average, mediocre. And honestly, I'd give Thor a five. But the Destroyer would get a solid seven. He's amazing. Almost no flaws, if not for just the arms, really. And one other, I don't know if, I, I don't think I talked about it, but he cannot look up. But that's fine. You don't really want a destroyer looking up. You want him to be able to look down on his enemies because he's so tall. He never needs to look up outside of maybe having Thor flying in. But even then, it's fine. So yes, altogether, I would rate this a 6. It's not perfect, but the, uh, the destroyer pushes it just above average. It's worth the money, so I would recommend you buy it. And without further ado, tell me in the comments, what are your thoughts? Do you like the two-pack? Do you have it? Do you, are you just swearing off it because of that Thor? Or what are your thoughts on it? What are your thoughts on my video? Do I Did I not bring up your favorite aspect? Did I talk about one you hated and I like? Tell me about it. I love hearing the comments. You know, be negative if you want. It's engagement for me. It makes YouTube think we should push his video more. So hit the like button, subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.